Hey guys, it's Major Foley here. I know it's been a while, so let me bring you up to speed on what's happened. So my old installation of Windows was essentially blue screening practically every second day, nearly every day at that point. And it was happening during streams, it was happening during whenever I recorded, and I got sick of it. So I'm on a fresh install now on a different SSD. I'm still trying to get some old stuff from my other one. Um, still tweaking around to make it how I look how it looked on my old one, because, you know, you got to tweak it, make it to your likings and all that crap. Still copying files and folders and so on, and I'm still running into a couple issues here and there on this installation too that I'm trying to solve. So, yeah, recordings are still going to come a little slow. I apologize. There's not much I can do about it. Uh, the extended edition of this level will be appearing. The gold edition will come sometime later this week. Weekend at the latest. I should get it done hopefully the next day. Um, I, other than that, I do apologize, I can't really do much more about it when that plus real life gets in the way, and so on, so on, so on. Um, another news, thanks to everyone who commented on the vocoder video, uh, that's the encoder we're gonna go with from now on, instead of the old X264, it's just much better, and does the same job, it keeps color accuracy too, so we'll be keeping note. And we'll be using that from now on. Um, unfortunately, I can't really go back and do that for the old videos. I've still got the RAWs, so I could. But if I would re-upload them, I'd lose my views and so on. I mean, it's not many views, but views nonetheless. So, other than that, at least we know for the future if they ever do an Age Mythology Definitive Edition. <laughs> so, we are up to the level north. Probably one of the hardest missions in the vanilla campaign, at least in my general opinion. Some people will disagree. Uh, we have to destroy three temples creating myth units as and we got to do it well under the threat of that uh, Fimble winter and a bunch of other stuff so if you got if you guys watch the Norse tutorial you know how things work plus a little extra um, your Hersees are your main hero units when you play the Norse except in the archaic age where their attack is reduced to stop them from you know rushing enemies it was a balance kind of thing and it makes a lot of sense really um, but once you get to the Classical Age, they get their normal stats back. So, we also lose access to two heroes here. We don't get Chiron, and we don't get Ajax. That would actually make the mission laughably easy if we had those heroes, but we don't. So we only have Arkansas and Amanra as our quote-unquote tanky heroes. Uh, um, so there are also three town centers you can build. One to the northwest, one to the middle, and one to the southeast. Um, or more to the south. Uh, we are going to be using the more dangerous one that's in the middle of all three temples. There, are, If you don't feel comfortable doing that, I'll show you where the town center is roughly on the minimap, and you can choose to build and wall off there. My friend Legendary Raider, EA and I, we sort of use the same strats. We like to both build in the middle town center, except he likes to build trolls and her seers, and I like to build throwing axemen and her seers. He'll usually build throwing axemen when he's about to raid the last temple, but I think for the gold edition, I might use his strat, just to show it off, and with this one, we'll use mine. So, without further ado, let's get started. At least Gagarensis has made his path clear. This is the pass we seek. Beyond is Midgard. I hope it is warmer in Midgard. The north is full of tangled maze, and text and aching eyes, and dead is all the innocence of anger and surprise. It's funny because you don't even see Ajax or Chiron in that cutscene, and yet Ajax was with Arkantos, so. Alright, let's merge our units together, get these villages down here. Send a manra over here. So we're using our villagers to just mine gold right now, so they're doing something and we have a stockpile of gold. We will be using a lot of gold in this mission because, well, you're not going to have a lot of food to start off with, herdables um, or... Huntables or even farms, so we're going to be using dwarves to supplement our um, economy instead of our villagers most of the time. 
Uh, normally this would be bad if we were anything, anyone under than Odin. Uh, sorry, Thor. As Thor, the dwarf bonus against every other resource is less, it's like 10% instead of like, I think it's 20. So it's worth using dwarves if you have an excess amount of gold to get more resources. It's not the worst thing to do. Um, now the reason why I'm not building this town center here at the moment with these units is because when we start building it, uh, there'll be some wolves that'll attack us and we have to defend ourselves against it. Now, this is probably one of the safer TCs. You can wall off this entire bottom section here. There's a few huntables. And the other town center is around here, next to the giant's base. They're both pretty wall wallable and defensible, so if you feel more comfortable doing that, uh, choose one of those town centers. But uh, for this guide, we will be using the more reckless town center, as I'd like to call it. Now, when you got both your heroes here, which we'll put them up here, have the throwing axemen stand next to them, and have the hersiers, because they got not really attack damage, build the town center. And get the pick sticker upgrade from the ox cart. So once you hear that wolf, you can hear the, sorry, the how the wolves will be coming. So have them, have the heroes meet them, and then have the throwing axemen support them. And there is the friend rear wolf guard that we'll have to deal with. It'll be one of the attacks we will have to deal with. If your one of your at units are under attack, move them away. Try to keep your units relatively healthy. Because we're going to need them. Alright, so now we're going to build that temple. Uh, and as Thor, we get dwarves instead of um, villagers when we build the town center. So, with Pig Sticker, we're going to build that temple. We're going to train... We're not going to train anything, we're just going to advance straight up. And we're going to go under Force Seti. Uh, because we can get Hall of Thanes, which is great for our SCs, and we get the Healing Spring. Which is going to be really crucial to keep our army healthy. Now, bring our two heroes here. There's one more Frenrir we have to deal with here, or Frenwist. They're like interchangeable names, I believe. Um, get these upgrades when you can. Uh, they'll be very important. And we also want to train her seers now. So we're going to just auto-train them. So the first temple we're going to be destroying is an Anhanya temple, which um, have a similar ability to Arcanos. They'll do a war shout that does minor damage and boosts the morale of units around them. So we've got to take care of the temple first. And it's the closest one to us. Usually if you see like little roads like this, it means you're close to a temple. Now when we attack this base, we also might run into some Ulsarks. Or we could wait for the Ulsark attack and deal with it before we deal with the Anhanya. It probably is better to deal with the attack before attacking with them. That is entirely up to you. But if you do get attacked by them, all the temples come with a hill fort, so I wouldn't fight underneath if that was the case. Anyway, now that we've aged up, we're at least going to break down the wall. So bring our units over here. So. And we're going to get the dwarf onto wood because we're going to be pop capped very soon and we need to get a house. So here they are. So move back away from the gate so they can come out and then attack them. They are very slow moving, so that works to our advantage. Yeah, they're gonna give me in that war shout. Right, we should have enough to get that house up now. So I think Norse buildings are also a li little more fragile than normal too, but I think they're also slightly cheaper in the long run. I think. Um, it's been a while since I've actually played Norse. Alright, so we're actually just going to wait for the Ulsark attack now, I think. We'll be better off that way. Because we want our heroes to soak up the damage. Now we're going to put our healing spring over here, sort of out of the way of the town center so we can have farms. We are still going to train normal villagers, guys. It's just when you're sort of deprived of food, the dwarves are a good alternative. Uh, we also want around five dwarves on the gold mine. And the attacks can come from pretty much anywhere too, so you need to be aware of where they can be. I also accidentally killed that elk, so we're going to have to hunt that. Let's 
Sun got one dwarf up there. Right, Ulsark attack. Let's build that longhouse so I can get Ulsarks. Sorry, not Ulsarks. I'm um, throwing Axemen because that's going to be our main anti-infantry unit we're going to train. Now, there is a little bit of RNG. Oh, there's the attack. That you have to worry about, guys. Sometimes they'll attack faster. Sometimes they'll attack not as fast. It's things that are going to happen. There's nothing much you can do about it. So if you do get attacked early or not, don't worry too much about it. Just try again. Don't try to do this level where you're angry either. It's my recommendation. Alright, we've stopped training dwarves. We need to start training more. Get another house. So have your heroes, of course, at the front, because like I mentioned, there's a hill fort. And we want the hill fort to attack our heroes because they're tankier. So now have the hero her seers and the heroes attack the units. And just have the throwing axe can come down here and hit the temple. Since they do hand damage, it's better for them to just also hit the buildings. Preferably you want the hill fort to attack the heroes and not your units. So just keep them out of harm's way. There you go. And once you've dealt with the temple, you don't have to kill the hill fort. So... Once it's done, just get out. Right, I want to get medium infantry next. So we're going to get husbandry. We're actually going to stop training her seers for a little bit just so we can get the medium infantry upgrade. Now, we are going to wait before we go and destroy the next temple, which is the giant's one up the up the northwest, which is over here. So we're going to take this time to heal our troops. Uh, Gargarensis will cast Fimble Winter at 10 minutes, so usually it's a good idea to attack after that. We're going to get the Hall of Thanes so our her seers move faster, which means they can enter and exit combat faster too, so we want that upgrade. We're going to want the bow sword upgrade when we can afford it too. So we can still train more dwarves because, again, our food situation is not high. We also need to get the pickaxe upgrade when we can afford it too. Otherwise, we need to put more dwarves on gold. Now, another benefit of Thor is that he's got access to the dwarven armory, which means he can get all upgrades for your soldiers pretty quickly. Right, kill the boars, guys. Um... So that's a plus, so you can choose to get copper weapons, um, bronze weapons, iron weapons pretty early. Of course, it's expensive, so you got to pick your upgrades carefully. But uh, it's still possible to do so. Alright, so we're going to get the pickaxe upgrade in a second. Alright, so the next attack should be a Fenru uh, Wolf Brood attack. We also need a house now, because we're pop cap. Now, normally what I used to do was I'd attack the Frost Giants immediately, but by doing that, I'd either open myself to a Fenrir or a Ulsark helping Giant attack, and it wrecks your army pretty quickly. So it's not the best thing to do. Uh, I made it also a little mistake here. I built a house a bit too close to the town center. So I'm not going to have a good access to the uh, for a farm, so maybe be aware of that when you do it, guys. Alright, there's another boar there, guys. Come on, eat. Fimble Winter should be happening any moment. See? Now, normally I would have been attacked a second time by now. Now, this is what I mean by RNG. I'm probably going to have to face Fimble Winter as well as the Fenrir Wolf attacks, so it's going to be a bit rough. We'll have to wait and see. Now, Fimble Winter can be cast anywhere from here to here or even here. So, there's a champion Ulsar. Yep, there's the Ulsarks. Try to get my guys into the town center. Alright, so that's good. We might actually not have the worst RNG here. I really want to attack the um, Frost Giant's base now, but the next attack is guaranteed to be Fenrir Wolves. Uh, that's not the greatest feeling. Alright, I want to get the plow because I'm going to need to build farms pretty soon. Alright, I'm going to double her seer train here, quickly. Ah, fuck me. Of course, the moment I leave... Ugh. So yeah, this is actually going to hurt. 
going to try to get my units into the town center. Save as many as throwing axemen as I can. It is a setback, but it's not the worst one. It is something I should have anticipated. But by no means it's not imaginable. So like if you suffer an attack like this, you can come back. And that's the whole reason why we got the Hall of Thanes upgrade. Because they get an extra one movement speed. That's pretty huge. I did lose my ox cart though, but frankly we don't need it anymore. Because we're going to start using farms. And we can just retrain our throwing axemen. Oh, we actually had it just perfect. Just going to train more dwarves. Start attack that. So the next attack is going to be an Ulsark attack, but we should have enough throwing axemen come by by then. We're going to build the Dwarven Armory, so we can get our upgrades. Don't stop training Hoseas either, they can still be used to tank for your forces. There's the freaking Fimble Winter. And there it is, so it actually came from the top side this time. So just cast the bell when that does happen. It is probably going to hurt you guys, but... Should be okay in the long run. If you only lose a couple units or two. Move your heroes up forward. Eight seconds. Yeah, my town center's full. Or was full. Alright, just send them back. Press forward again. Yeah, we lost the dwarf on the gold mine. I didn't get the plow upgrade. So yeah, attack these giants. Now, none of these hill forts actually have burning pitch, so you could go under it and attack the town centers if you're worried. Uh, sorry, the hill forts if you're that worried, but you should be alright. Just take care of it. So get these back up and running. And we're going to get copper shields, so when we attack the last base, we will have some extra defense against the Hillfort. But yeah, just take care of this, and then walk back. Hopefully our heroes can get back in time. So yeah, Fenrir Wolves, uh, when they're in packs, are pretty strong, so... Killing units in their packs will lower their damage and their speed. Oh man, and the oops, that is such... See, this is what I mean by bad RNG, and this can cause you to lose, but we should be relatively okay. We do have, enough, we do have a solid mass enough to help counter. Even against even if um, all sucks are better against her seers. Yeah, I'm still going with this even though it hurts because it is doable. My old video, for example, was like 30 minutes. We're still gonna beat like 30 to 40 minutes. We're still gonna beat that by a good chunk. So we're going to send our units to heal. Yeah, but even now we're running low on gold too, so we're going to have to put a few dwarves on gold. But that's the breaks. We are versing champion infantry in that after all. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take four dwarves now and turn them over to gold immediately. If you the large gold mine runs out, you can just use your dwarven mine, which gives you more gold the later you use it in terms of age. Or there's another large mine here you can use. Right, so we're going to train a couple more villagers and a couple more dwarves. Those resources will f hopefully start to pile in. That was some pretty unfortunate RNG we did suffer, but like I said, that's the breaks with this level. So I'm not going to beat it as quickly as I like, but we're not in the realm of it's impossible to win. 
As long as we can get our mass back along with our frontline heroes, we should be okay. Alright, we've got a lot of wood coming in now. Come on, Arcantos, wash out. He doesn't want to wash out, and that's annoying me. There we go. Alright, so we've got enough wood. I'm going to transfer some onto food. Yep. So, I would play it a bit safe here, especially since we're a low number, so we're just going to save to advance. Because it'll be safer when we attack them. So we're now we're gonna stop training her seers, which, funnily enough, also have normal names. Um, we have a bunch of throwing axemen, so when they attack with all sucks, we're just gonna wipe the floor with them. Now you can go for the economic upgrades now. Um, I w would suspect you would want to get a couple weapons at least, but we're gonna just try to advance first. And then Red's base, which is up here, we're going to build a small forward base and we're going to hit them pretty hard. Just going to take a bit more resources than I'd like. I'm going to get Shaft 1 because it's cheaper on the food anywhere. It's not the worst upgrade to grab. There really, usually there isn't bad upgrades to grab. Well, unless you're playing competitively, then they'd probably know which ones are the worst ones to go for. Which I don't, so I don't care. Don't forget to keep adding your units to control groups when you need to. Ooh, a frost giant that lived. That's right, we let one live. That poor dwarf is going to die. Alright, we can advance very soon. We're going to stop training that gold dwarf. Ah, nuts. There we go. We'll go with Scardi, so we can train our own Frost Giants. We're also going to start retraining her Seers. Man, that ox cart nearly died. Alright, so let's get Copper Weapons when we can afford to do so, because these... So our her Seers don't benefit from like the mainline infantry upgrades, but they do benefit from the Armoury, so... Since every unit benefits from the armory, it's not the worst thing to go for armory upgrades before the mainline stuff. That was a dwarf. You bloody wolf, man. Alright, with that attack, I think we're gonna go close to their base and start preparing the forward base. Hopefully the Ulsarks won't attack in the meantime. Ah, never mind. That's actually a good thing, because now we can actually go to the forward base without as many issues. Nice. Now this is where Frost is actually going to come in handy. So when we attack and if they have a massive army, we can just use it and ignore their entire army. Alright, so now we're going to get the heavy infantry upgrade. And we're just going to cast this so they don't have to move to a gold mine. So there it is. I'm going to build one hill fort and one temple. And I need to go to some wood up there. Alright, so we're going to start training throwing axemen from here. And from here, we're going to train frost giants and her seers. So grab their attention. So we do want to cast Frost. And we just want to start breaking down the gate. Any gate will do. Alright, 
As long as we can get through. We got 20 seconds. So yeah, a bit rough because of the uh, RNG I had, but not. Th it's still more than doable. So we're gonna just ignore everything, and we're gonna rush for the temple. Which is located over here. So when you see the market turn right, and just go straight for it and destroy it. You should have more than enough forces to hold anything else that comes out if they do. So, and of course, you can always get more armory upgrades. But once you destroy the last temple, that's it. GG. Much quicker than my previous video, which was like 47 minutes or something. We'll have to find another way through. We are being watched. Where? Wait here. And so that is it for probably one of the hardest levels in the game. Um, thank you for tuning in, guys. Like I said, I can't promise when a regular schedule will come back until all like my tweaking on my fresh install and all that's done, and hopefully no more problems come up. We're just going to have to wait and see. Um, but hopefully once it's all sorted, I can go to like every second day schedule until I can finish this, and then I can start on a new project. Because I would really like to get this done before, way before the end of the year. I'd like to get this done before June, the end of June, practically. So, um, but yeah, thank you for waiting and sticking by me as I've gotten this done. And um, remember, I'm always streaming on twitch.tv slash majorfolly. It could be a short stream, could be a long one. I stream many games. Please come follow me there. It helps, even if you don't watch me, like, because you can't or whatever. It does support me when you're just giving me a follow. I hope to catch you guys next time.